Right, it's the 16th of uh, April. Is that right? Yeah, it is, isn't it? 17th. Oh, I always get this wrong. Right, it's the 17th of April, 2014. This is Neville Douglas from Ashanti Dutch Property Letting. Um, yes, we've got an issue with one of the properties. Uh, this was refurbished some time ago. And um, what has happened is the, the brickwork on the... Well, the brickwork basically is porous. Um, we've pointed the brickwork from the outside, but um, due to it being a nine inch solid brick wall and due to the orientation of the building, we're getting water and obviously, you know, it's been quite a wet winter as well. Um, there's been a lot of water coming in through the wall. So I'm going to spin the camera around in a second and then we're going to discuss the options that we're going to do. I'm going to have a look on the inside and then we're going to go outside and look at the brickwork and then we're going to talk i'm going to talk to you and i'll tell you about the solution that i've got now the two things that i'm going to do is one um i'm going to get a thermal camera and take a thermal image of the wall um, but to be able to do that you need to have a 10 degree um, temperature differential between the inside and the outside so that's the thing that we're going to do first then we're going to apply some cream um, there's a manufacturer that produces some cream. I know it sounds daft, but there is some <laughs> there is some cream that um, you can get, which you apply to the outside of the um, building. A five liter tub is 161 pounds. Now it might sound like a lot, but there's a 25 year guarantee with it. And I've used it to tank the, the ground floor, not the same cream, but something else. Another, if you look at the previous videos that I've done in regards to um, tanking and um, plastering, you will see that I used um, a product on the inside that I used and it's the same company that manufacture the cream to do with the exterior. Um, it's either that or it's render the outside or, or do something else and with this being over a kitchen it means that we have to have scaffolding put up. Now if you paint the brickwork then obviously you've got to do that every two or three years whereas with this cream it's guaranteed for 25 years and it's supposed to help with the thermal insulation value of the wall. Hence why I'm going to be using a thermal um, camera to see the difference before it goes on and to see what it's like when it is dried and it's been applied. So I'm just gonna show you the interior, then I'm gonna go downstairs, talk very quickly about the exterior. I'll add some shots of um, this property before it was refurbished. I'll put those on as well and uh, the wall so i'm going to spin around now that we're looking at it is let me see if i can go back a bit more in the bathroom now as you look above the window there you can see a bit of discoloration if you look to the left and to the right you can see it it's not too bad now it's drying out we've got the flaking paint there so i think it's penetrating through there because that still forms part of the gable end so we've got some sort of bridging where the um, the wall meets the gable end on the outside. You can see there from the curved ceiling where it's, it goes and it continues up to a point on the outside. So that's going to be painted and we're going to apply the thermal paint. Then we're going to give it a few weeks in here to dry out. And then we are going to be able to um, see whether or not we get this. So once it's repainted, I'll come back in a few weeks and, and we'll have a look and see, you know, if it's done. There's a 25 year guarantee also. I'll spin around again, sorry. There is a 25 year guarantee um, with this um, product. So it's gonna be quite interesting to see whether or not um, what the manufacturers think as well. So I'm gonna get in touch with them. So um, I'm just gonna nip outside and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the outside. So I'm going to show you the offending um, gable end. So as you look up there, that is the area that's giving the problem. As you can imagine, what I shall do is I shall go onto um, Google um, Earth and then just do a map really and, and show you the orientation. I think the, the, the weather from, from this point is predominantly from the west, but I'll, I'll check anyway. So down here is okay because I've got um, a basic... Uh, a gyp rock double skin on the inside you can't see it but there is a double skin on there so that's all taken care of on there and on that elevation round there so that's got a double skin on the inside as well it's reduced the size of the kitchen a little bit but it's still giving us a barrier that we needed upstairs um, as you can see the scaffolding has got to go up here and then they're going to treat all of that area there so that is where I'm going to come back with a the thermal camera and, and take a thermal image of that part there 
and uh, see what happens. So that's it. Thank you. Oh, one other thing. Um, yes, it's all been pointed, by the way, on the outside. Um, it was done about two years ago. Uh, what I'll do is I'll spin the camera around so you can see it. So you can see there that that's the, uh, the quality of the pointing. Yeah, so it's all been done. Um, there's a bit of dye in there, obviously, to, to darken the cement. Um, but that's it. So, you know, that's the quality of the pointing, which goes all the way up, all around the building, and it goes all the way up to the top. The only problem is the brickwork has become porous. This building is over 100 years old. So as you can imagine, we've got, if you look at that, that is really rough and really porous, yeah? Same here again. If we come round to the side, you're gonna see that, where is it now that I'm looking for? Okay, so look at those bricks there, okay? So those bricks there, let me just zoom this out a little bit. I've got pausing, so as you can imagine, when that rate when it rains the water is going into these pores and is being retained so what we're proposing to do is to seal the brickwork to stop the water penetrating and going through into the inside this is a, a nine inch wall and as you can imagine when they get wet and these little pockets here hold the moisture if you get continual rain then it's going to go in there um, originally this would have been pointed with lime mortar so the water would have soaked out of here gone into lime mortar and then it would have evaporated. I've used um, ordinary Portland cement, um, you know, a bit of a learning curve for me. I think if, you, if I'm gonna do this again, I would probably use lime mortar so the moisture then comes out of there, goes into the coursework, and then it evaporates. So that's something you need to consider if you are going to uh, repoint the outside of a, a, a building, an old building that was pointed in lime before. Go back to using the lime mortar and on the inside let me spin around on the inside i would recommend using a lime plaster as well because then it breathes the lime plaster would absorb the moisture on the inside and then it would take it through the walls into the porous bricks transfer the moisture into the course and then obviously you've got the course then which is with the lime mortar that would then allow it to evaporate i'm not saying it's a complete and total solution but it's a lot better than the solution I've got at the moment where we've used the Giprot plaster, nothing wrong with it. Having said that, it doesn't breathe and it's water, it's waterproof. So therefore any moisture on the inside gets retained on the inside. It's not waterproof, but it's not breathable. So therefore the moisture is not being transferred from the inside to the outside and allowing the, the building to dry naturally. It's not doing that at the moment. So that is the thing that I would say that needs to be done. But having said that, I'm not going to be able to do that with this particular property. So the, the best solution is just to seal the brickwork from the outside and ensure that there's plenty of ventilation on the inside. Okay, that's it. Hi, this is Neville Douglas. This is the 18th of April, 2014. Um, going back in regards to the um, property that we looked at yesterday where rain is penetrating through the brickwork. Um, I've got the products here, so I'm gonna have a look at the products. I've also got hold of a, a thermal camera and a thermometer because you need a temperature differential of about 10 degrees to be able to determine that, um, the thermal difference. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because they reckon that this cream, and I'm gonna switch the camera over now, they reckon this cream here, which is masonry protection, produced by a company called, well, it's called Storm Dry, um, but it's manufactured by Safeguard Europe. I've used some of their other products and uh, they're pretty good to be honest. I used some of the tanking stuff that they had. So this is, a I used, yeah, in one of the other videos, there was some tanking that had to be done and we used like a cementuous slurry. This is what, um, this company produced that cementuous slurry as well. This is a cream, so let me see if I can open it with the one hand. Ah, there we go. So as you look at it, you can see that it says, uh, I'm just trying to get out the sun a little bit there. Let's move this over. Yeah, it's just a white cream, really. There's some on the lid, so you can see it. And that's 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 what's going to uh, solve the problems. Uh, so, so like I said, we're going to uh, use that cream. That's going to be applied to the brickwork. You use a roller, so you can use a roller or you can use a brush uh, in the reveals, obviously. Then you're going to need to use a roller to apply it. Um, and then 
over the face of it, then you can use a roller to apply it. Just one application apparently, and this will do 25 meters. So what we've got here in this box is a thermometer. Ah, that's on already. So it's showing that the, the humidity level as well. So I'm going to make a record of the humidity level, which is 31 degrees where we are now. Sorry, 31% humidity, 22 degrees. So that's not too bad. So I'm going to go inside, take a reading, then go outside, take another reading, and uh, that will do it then. And then I'm then going to use this baby and uh, take a thermal reading. And so I shall show you the screen so you can see what the reading is going to be.